G'day guys and welcome to a very different video today because in this one I'm going to be showing you guys my cricket kick bag for the 2017-18 season. Um, I've currently already played three games, we're currently two and one, so started the season pretty well. Um, but yeah, in this one I'm going to be showing you what's going to be uh, what I usually take on game day. Um, I don't have this um, this bag packed for a game, but uh, I'll tell you guys what I'll have in there uh, on the on the Saturday morning. But um, yeah, the first part we're going to get into, I'll show you the bag first, wouldn't I? It is the I'll show you guys there. It is the Kookaburra, I think it's Kookaburra Pro 1500, I'm pretty sure. Pro 1500, I think. And um, it's, you know, it's a great bag. It was only like under $200. It's a very big bag, but it does the job for me. Uh, last season, I had to take, when I had a smaller bag, I had to take that um, cricket bag and then a backpack, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, we'll start off with the first pocket. Um, we'll find the zip first. At the moment, there is just deodorant, sunscreen, and chewing gum. So that's that's the first pocket. Um, on a game day, I'd usually have drinks in here, some more food, um, and yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, I'd, I'd usually have a lot of drinks, either like a, a Powerade, um, and then like, a, like three water bottles, because I usually go through a lot of water in the, in the game. Um, but you'll move on to the main pocket. Now first off, we'll start with the pads. Uh, they are the Kookaburra. Before we start with the pads, you'll notice everything in here is basically Kookaburra. Um, that's only one reason, because I love the Kookaburra gear. I've used it since I was really young, and I've always gone with Kookaburra. They're my favorite, and uh, yeah, we'll start with the pads. They are the Kookaburra Pro 1000s. Um, I've got one here without the clads, and I've got here one with the clads. Um, so on a game day, I wear these. Um, because the the pants I wear are green and I just it looks good to match if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, with, with the clads they look really good and they match well with my uh, my kit. Um, yeah, there's the there's back there you don't really see as much part when you're when you're when you're wearing them. But um, yeah, I like the design. Looks really good. Fits well. Um, they've got this little flap here so you don't get hit on the side of the leg, which probably used to happen to me a lot when I use my old pads, uh, which you'll see in the. Uh, later part of the video But um, yeah, they were the pads Cool Bar Pro 1000s. If you've got any questions about my kit, feel free to ask them in the comments I'll be happy to answer them uh, We've got this weird thigh pad. I only usually use this at training um, When I'm facing far, well, not fast bowls, but medium pace spin bowls um, And when on game days, I use my Aero P2 strippers These have been great for me um, I haven't used it I haven't used these too many times, but as I said, I use these for games, and they work brilliant. You hardly feel they're there, and they fit well with your box and all that. Um, but yeah, I like them, and definitely recommend these. Aero P2 strippers. There are Aero P1 strippers, which are, I think they're more protective and they're more bulkier. But um, I don't really need heaps of protection on my thighs. Um, before, when I was using the, uh, where is it, the old thigh pads last season, I'd get hit in the inner thigh so much. So I got these, and I've already been hit on the inner thigh a few times, but obviously I don't feel it because of the pad there this time. Saved myself a few bruises, which is good. Um, we'll go with the gloves. These are the gloves I use now. They're the Kookaburra Kahuna. Um, I don't know if they've got any numbers or anything, but it's the Kookaburra um, gloves from the 2017, 2016-17 range, I think. Um, so they match the pads well. And now onto the old stuff. I've got these weird old um, Kookaburra pads again, but these are so old K200s. I used these last season and grew, grew out of them very quickly. They're really thin. Look, look at that. It's just paper, basically. You can almost feel everything. I probably won't you need to use these now. Um, geez, unless something really bad happens to my pads I've got now. But yeah, same one there. Not the best of pads, but if you're if you're only playing like junior league, it's they're probably a really good um, fit for you guys. Um, <laughs> these gloves, I used these last season, and they are just ruined. Like there's holes everywhere. Definitely won't use these again. I don't know why these aren't in the bloody bin yet because like they're just stu stupidly. Um, yeah, let's move on because they're just stupid. We've got the helmet, and I've got a box in there too. That's not really important for this video. Um, although it is your most important part of your kit bag, your box, or your frog, some people like to call it. That's my helmet. It is the county, count, well, just a really old county helmet. It does the job. 
I'm pretty happy with it. It's probably an upgrade soon. Um, but yeah, it does the job. I don't, I've never really been hit in the head. I've had a few bounces that were close, but uh, yeah, never been hit in the head. Hopefully never will. Um, I've also got, I've got this, just to put the grips on. Um, and I've got about half a dozen balls in this one too. I was four balls, sorry. I've probably got a couple more somewhere else over in the backyard or something. Um, in this little Velcro pocket here, I've got all my back care stuff. I've got um, your white tape for your grips. I've got sandpaper. Um, I've got edge tape. And I've got some oil in the cupboard there as well when I need to oil the bat again. But uh, before we get into the bats, I do have some cricket shoes that I use on game days. They're just the standard cooker brush shoes. I think all of Mostly all cricketers in Australia use these. Um, I do want to get some maybe in a couple of years time when these wear out. I do want to get some new cricket shoes. Um, I've been using these all season. They do the job. Don't use spikes because the pitches we play on, they're like, I think they're called synthetic. And if you were to use spikes on that surface, I think it'd just rip it up. So I'm not allowed to use spikes, but it's, it's very grippy. Like they're almost spikes really because like they're, yeah, it's hard to explain. It's a really good um, shoe. Recommend these for like the young cricketers out there. Got the second one out. And now onto the bats. I've got three bats in this kit bag. One bat that I really only use. Um, just gotta find the bat cave. We've got this really cool thing in this bag called the bat cave, and you can store three bats. We'll start off with a really old bat that was given to me like, gee, maybe three or four years ago. Never used it in a game. Maybe you could give it a try, see how it goes. Really old bat, looks like from this bloody, I don't know, 60s. <laughs> it seems really old, there's about four grains on it, so it still pings pretty well, I won't I won't lie, but uh, yeah, pretty good bat, does the job. Never really used it in the game, as I said, but I've used it at training a couple of times, does pretty well. And the bat I used last season is the Kookaburra Kahuna 2015-16, I think. I'll just get a close up there for you. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's the small, small men's size. Um, I really grew out of this bat in one season. It's sort uh, of, it did its job for the season, but um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the best of bats and I need an upgrade to the bigger size. But it's there for a backup. Um, same with the other bat there. If my main bat gets damaged or it snaps touch wood, that won't happen because like, don't want your main bat snapping enough, do you? But speaking of my main bat, I pride and joy of the cricket bag. The Kookaburra Kahuna 2016-17 uh, edition, I think it is. It might be 2016-17, I think, yeah. Um, it's an absolute beast. I love it. You can see all the cherries, the heaps of cherries, but uh, once you find the middle of the bat, it just goes. It's a great bat, and I absolutely love it. It is the next size up from this Kookaburra here. You can see the size difference. Let's have a look. You can almost see the edge, look. The edges on the my, my um, what's it called, short handle bat, it's almost double the size of the small men's. But it's, um, yeah, always like looking at this. Two generations, I've actually got three generations. It's some really old Kubara bat, but I never use that. Never will. Um, but yeah, that's basically my quick bag, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Um, it's been a fair while since I've wanted to do this video, and we finally get to do it. Um, had to rearrange a few things in my room to actually do it though, because I wanted to get a good camera angle. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, as I said, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.